Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to my do-it-yourself binder stamping tool. Okay, in previous videos I featured the delusion stamps that you could pick up at Tuesday morning. Now I went to go use the stamps and realized these stamps are really big, at least several of them are, and I did not have any stamping blocks that I could use with these stamps. Now Shishi posted a great video showing different items you could use around the house as stamping blocks and so I looked for things in my craft room but I couldn't find anything. And I saw a video several weeks ago by Hallmark Scrapbooks where they used a DVD case to make a stamping tool. Now these stamps are larger than any DVD cases that I have so that wasn't going to work. And then I had an amazing thought and I'm going to share that thought materialized in this video and it's using a binder and I love this creation because it's eight and a half by 11 and so you get a lot of stamping space. Now also it's easy to make, it's economical, yet very functional. And what I love about it too it's great to create coloring books because you get a lot of images on one page. Your supplies needed. You need a half inch binder, any color you like. You also need a sheet of 12 by 12 inch acrylic because you're gonna cut that down to size. Actually cut it down to nine by 12 inches. You're gonna also need a eight and a half by 11 inch frame that you can pick up from the dollar store or 99 cent store. You could also pick up your binder from there as well. You're gonna need all the components. You're gonna need the cardboard, the templates, and of course you're going to need the frame. So go ahead and disassemble your frame. Now what's not shown here is the glass, but you do need that as well. You're gonna also need four sheets of nine by 12 inch double sided foam along with double sided tape and that's two and a half inches that I'm using. And I'm using my crocodile to punch my holes. This tool punches through any and everything. You wanna practice on paper first to make sure that you have your holes aligned up correctly on your acrylic. Now this is optional. You can use a Cricut mat as your grid or you could use a quilter's grid or not use anything at all. So to get started, open up your binder. And the reason why I'm using a half inch is because I wanna use less layers of foam. If you use a larger album, you will need to use more layers of foam. Take your cardstock from your frame and apply total coverage of the double sided tape. And do make sure you cover the corners and you can see here I've applied the tape, but I didn't apply enough on the bottom. I'll go back and do that later. And this is how it looks with the liners removed. And this is some really good tape. I'll have links to products in the description box. Take the double or the cardboard with the adhesive on it and place it face down on the right side of your binder. Take a sheet of double-sided adhesive and remove the liner and then you're going to apply the side with the adhesive on it right down to the cardboard. So apply it face down. Take another sheet of adhesive foam. You see the yellow there. Remove the liner. And then you're going to apply the yellow foam with the adhesive face down to that teal colored foam. And you see I've done that there. Use your hands to press it down. Take another sheet of foam and add adhesive to the side that doesn't have adhesive. Take the, the side that you've added the adhesive to, remove the liners, and you're going to apply that face down to the yellow foam. So it's important here that you open up your rings there. Open up all three rings. And here you're going to remove the liner from your foam and you are going to apply the frame face down. And then you're going to just set the glass in afterwards.
And here you take the fourth and last sheet of foam, remove the liner, apply the adhesive side face down to the glass. So the reason why you want to apply your frame face down is because the back side of the frame, once you put your foam inside the frame, it will be leveled with the frame. And when you stamp, you'll get better impressions. So a Cricut mat is also optional. I do like this idea because you have the grid, you have the stickiness, so that's great. But you can also use a quilter's grid. You can make your own grid or you can use nothing at all. Now the reason why you want to save those templates that come in the frames, because they do come in handy, you can use those as well. And many of these templates, they are the same sizes as as cards and so on the bottom there that's a five by seven inch card now I'm taking my Cricut mat I cut it down to the black border and then I realized I wanted to cut it down to the white border I wanted to get rid of the borders because I wanted more of the measuring space and I kept the white borders because they have the inches there so then I'm gonna cut it down to an eight and a half by eleven inch size there so take your double-sided tape and apply it down to the foam that's in the frame and then you're going to take your well pull the liners back from the top don't do this at one time and then place your Cricut mat from the top down you don't want to move remove your adhesive all at once because if you once you put that mat down you can't get it back up and so it's best to do it in sections once you've removed all of your liners and you have your Cricut mat down in there go ahead and press it down in the corners until you have it all adhered down and then you're going to take your acrylic and I'm using a template here Take your crop a dial and go ahead and apply holes in your acrylic. And here you see my crop a dial. I don't know where my three hole puncher is. And then you're going to take your stamps. Well, remove the liners from the acrylic first and place your stamps where you would like them. And then next we are going to ink up our stamps. You see the stamps on the left side, or actually here, you're looking at my cardstock that's in the mat on the right. Next, we're going to ink up the stamps here. Now, Stampin' Up! ink gave really good impressions, but the ink was too wet. And so I had a lot of ink on the um, acrylic, but I didn't have that problem when I used Hero inks. And so just know that certain type of inks might give you a lot of um, ink on your acrylic. So I didn't mention this, but you wanna make sure your acrylic is inside the rings. And once you have ink, go ahead and just flip it over onto your cardstock. You'll see my son's hands here. Gently press or rub. If you want to, you could also close the, um, the binder and press, press it down while it's closed, but that's not necessary. And then your first impression looks like this, and it's not bad. But if you want it to be darker, go ahead and re-ink your stamps and stamp again, and you see a darker impression there. Now, when you're working with a new mat, this is how your cardstock will look. To get rid of some of that stickiness, just lay the cardstock down repeatedly. Lay it down, remove it. Lay it down, remove remove it. And then eventually you won't have any stickiness. And then you could use um, washi tape to secure your paper into your mat. There I've put my liner back down on my mat. And you just see my stamps laying on the acrylic. Um, now here, you can also use your cling stamps and you see a cling stamp on the left there and you see the impression on the right and you don't even need any of this to use um, for your oversized stamps you could use a frame as a stamping block so that's what I've done here I didn't remove the paper out but you see my stamp there and it's inked up and this is the impression that it gives. Glass is a great um, stamping tool. Now to clean off your stamps, use baby wipes. 
to clean off your acrylic, you can apply alcohol to your baby wipes, but do not use alcohol on your stamp. So here's different angles of the binder. You see there the excess foam. Remember the foam is 9 by 12. This is an 8 and a half by 11 binder. You can cut the foam down. Keep in mind that foam can be difficult to cut. You may have to cut it several times, but I, I didn't. The only foam I did cut down was the foam needed inside of the frame. Also keep in mind the foam that you are going to use to adhere your frame to it. That foam needs to be large enough to hold the frame. So measure that out first before you do any any cutting for that particular sheet of foam. So of course, there's variations of this binder stamping tool. Many different combinations of supplies that you can use to create your own. So play around with what you have. I used four layers of foam, but you can use two, you can use three. You don't have to use the frame, you could use a frame. You could make it as simple as you like, or you can make it a little bit more advanced. It all depends on what you need. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me, send me a message or leave me a comment. If you like this video, please like it. If you decide to adopt this idea, send me a link so I can view your creation. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. As always, thank you for watching and blessings.